Murray coming into the historic 59th annual Sleepy Thompson Tournament looking for a championship. The Frogs would battle Millwood in St. Stephen's Tournament Final. Millwood would start the game off strong off of the miss. They push it in transition. Good ball movement. And Rasir Bolton with the tray. The Bobcats would keep it going. Check out this huge slam dunk. It's Jermaine Matthews with the throwdown as the Frogs need to find some way to get momentum. Murray would start to find its way. In transition, the freshman Kobe Davis finds a way to score it. Nice little play there. And the Frogs would keep it going off the miss. Sophomore Luca Garza gets the rebound and scores as the Frogs cut the Bobcats lead down to 7-4 in the early going. Murray would keep the momentum in transition off the miss. Great follow as the Frogs get the ball back and it's Kobe Davis adding it once again. The Frogs are on a roll now on the break. Vereen, nice pass, a miss, but Garza is there, and he's like Windex. He will clean up the glass and score it. Murray keeping it going. It's just feeding time for Garza. The big man hits the jumpers. The Frogs build a 20-10 lead in the first half. Murray, this time off the miss, it'll be Alex Peltier as he gets the tip, and Murray tries to turn the game into a rout. Now, let's fast forward second half. Murray gets the ball to Austin Vereen. He stops, pops, and the Frogs go up 32 to 19. Murray just enjoying themselves as the route is on. Good ball movement. This time it'll be the senior, Max Steiner. He hits the three ball. Then, of course, Murray, look at this ball movement. Little fundamental basketball here, and they keep feeding the big man. Luca Garza. Another big play, got to watch out for this sophomore, really coming into his own. The Frogs go on to enjoy the ride. Murray comes away with a 65-38 win, and they are the Sleepy Thompson champions. A big win to get the season started. Garza would win tournament MVP honors with a 20-point outburst in the final. The Frogs also had Peltier score 16 Kobe Davis had 11, and so did Max Steiner. Here's what the Frogs had to say after the big win. I mean, really, we moved on from last year. Coach always tells us from the start of the season, we're not, at least for the last two years, we're not, we're not defending our MAC championship. We're coming back to win another one. They can't take that away from us. And the same thing applies to that, to that eighth place finish last year. We sure as hell didn't forget. It. But, I mean, we, it, wasn't, it wasn't on our minds. It wasn't on our minds. You guys started this game a little slow, but uh, what clicked for you guys after that slow start? I mean, coach told us that they were going to come in some runs. We knew they were athletic, we knew they were quick, and we knew they really had the capability to shoot, to shoot the ball. Um, they started quick, we just started a little slow, we were a little flustered, but we knew that if we stayed disciplined, worked the ball around, they would crumble and we would come out on top. Well, this summer, I, I, I wanted to put in a lot of hard work uh, to help the team and uh, do whatever I could to uh, win again. So it, it, it paid off uh, working in the weight room, running, uh, doing all, all, all sorts of stuff, just uh, trying to get better and uh, make the season as uh, good as possible.